Well, Zach, uh, there you go, another another outstanding team. It's, it, it's a par for the course, obviously, in college hockey, especially. And with the schedule, you guys have non-conference, and here we are in the NCHC. It's uh, uh, it, it's something. It's a regular occurrence, isn't it, at the talent level you're facing? Yeah, for sure. I mean, headed in conference play here, uh, you know, that's kind of what we're going to see, um, especially once we get into the second half, night in and night out is going to be uh, these top 20 matchups. So. Um, I think it's important for us to start well on that and uh, get out to a couple good wins here. Zach, you've had 30 points in the last 40 games played. Last week you talked about the confidence that last year brought you carrying into this year. Did, did things, has the game slowed down for you at, at all? Is it a little bit more of a, a react versus a read and react situation on the ice for you? Yeah, I would say a little bit. I mean, um, I think you know sometimes you want to you want to slow the game down and you want to um, you know be able to make plays and and, and you know read uh, read the options but at the same time you know I like to obviously play fast so I kind of like to get up and down the ice quite a bit so uh, I'd say it's a little bit of both. We've talked a lot about how new this team is. Half the players are new, but you've been reunited with a familiar uh, high school teammate of yours and teammate from Wisconsin. How's it feel to be reunited with Sam? Yeah, I mean it's awesome. Uh, you know we grew up playing together and then. Uh, through high school and at Wisconsin for two years, so uh, I've known him since I was, you know, eight or nine years old, probably. So it's uh, it's pretty cool to have him here. Talk about uh, family support. When we go on the road here at Baxter Arena, we see a lot of jerseys with your name on the back of it. What does it mean to you to have that kind of support from your family? Uh, I mean, it's incredible. Um, it's you know one of my biggest motivators of, you know, um, everything they've done for me to to get me to the position that I am I'm in right now. So. Uh, the fact that they travel as much as they do and they, they want to come see games and, and be a part of everything is really awesome. And uh, really thankful that they, uh, they travel as much as they do. How do you feel about getting, getting back on the ice, getting going after that idle or bye, bye week? Uh, I would imagine a good feeling. Yeah, for Where sure. I mean, go? yeah, excited uh, to get back out there this weekend. Um, you know, bye weekend is always good to, to rest up and, and recover from any, you know, bumps and bruises you might have. But... Uh, yeah, I think the group's pretty excited to uh, to get going, and uh, should be a, a fun one this weekend. What have you guys been working on trying to prepare for that big, heavy Western Michigan team? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean they're uh, they're a heavy team and they play fast, so it's important for us to uh, counter that and you know transition well, um, get up the ice, and then track back, uh, be above their speed, so uh, they can't get on many rushes against us. All right, thanks, Zach. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Reggie. Yep. Right, we'll take questions for Coach. Well, Coach, uh, just just your views on uh, a week off and wanting to get back on track and just get back on the ice. So uh, it, it feels good to be a couple couple days away from game game day again, right? Yeah, I really enjoyed the bye week practice. Got a lot of things uh, we need to work on in and. Got a little bit of rest, like Ertz mentioned as well there. So overall, really good bye weekend. And now uh, back to normal here. Obviously, we had the day off yesterday with the election there. But um, nice to get back on the ice today here and, and get ready for Western Michigan this weekend. Are we going to see any new faces in the lineup now that you've had a little bit of time to heal up some of those guys that were banged up to start the season? Yeah. Un unfortunately, we'll, we'll have a couple guys out um, that were regulars in the lineup. They'll be out this weekend. With uh, with Ludke there, he's uh, he'll be out for for long term here, um, moving forward, and then uh, got a couple of guys that are questionable to see if they'll be healthy or not here uh, for this weekend here. But uh, the guys that have been out long term, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. I don't know if we'll see them this weekend or not. Uh, definitely one we will not. Uh, walk Liam Watkins is still quite a ways away there, but Aiden Gallagher's looking better every week and starting to get his foot speed back and and progressing there too. So. Um, yeah, not, not 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 fun to have the injuries that we that we have right now, but that's the uh, that's the way it works, and uh, opportunity for other guys to step up. Without the uh, deadline of, of how to prepare for a team, the bye week gives you an opportunity. You mentioned to work on some things you need to work on, but also kind of extend that playbook a little bit. Were some of the areas that you were able to touch in practice last week, bleeding into this week, that you might not have otherwise had time to do? Yeah, well, first off, I, th I just think our urgency away from the puck was something we really focused on both offensively, uh, especially offensively and defensively. you got to work really hard to, to score in this league. So just really that 
that urgency away from the puck, I think, is something we, we need to continue to work on and, and harp on there. And so we had some opportunities to do it, a little bit more of a game situation with some smaller games and some up-tempo things that um, sometimes you, you don't want to tire the guys out right before a weekend that we had an opportunity to do during the bike. And so that was great. And and yeah, just and focusing on some of the, the details too there with, with special teams and a couple other things too that we need to continue to improve on there. So it was nice to get some things in that otherwise you might not have time to do during a normal uh, week of preparing to play Friday and Saturday. Looking back now over the last couple of weeks, there's been a lot of things to, to like, the resilience of the mm -hmm. team. For example, on Friday night up in Mankato, you know, coming back uh, mm -hmm. from that. Going forward, I know mindset is a huge thing for the team. How do you get them to continue to believe in themselves when the challenges are going to just keep coming, especially this weekend, you know, yeah. MCHC play starting? Yeah, that's one of the beauties of, of our league is you get to work on your mental toughness a lot, and uh, and it's just who you face on a on a nightly basis. And again, I think we've we've talked about it. Five out of the six games we've played have been one goal games. So there, uh, those can be mentally draining at times there, and you don't know which play is going to be the difference in the game. Um, but you also have to prepare for that, and you got to do it consistently. And it's not easy to do, but the elite teams find a way to do it. So I think that's been one of our focuses as well too. Just you know, you just have to be so on point all the time um, when you're playing competition that's so tight here. So really important that we continue that here this week and, and keep our resiliency and keep our mental toughness. And it's not easy, you know, it's not easy to do, but it's an opportunity that we can do it. And I think I think the first thing is talking about it and, and making sure you, you address it and you keep working on it. Uh, um, it's something I think often people shy away from or don't like to discuss. And I think when you just, you know, look at it head on, that's how you grow and that's how you get better. From an athletic standpoint, a, a speed kills, and a, yeah, especially in this sport, the world's mm -hmm. fastest sport. And uh, talk about how, how much of an attribute that is for your team. I, I noticed it caught, it caught my eye, especially in that first half of a uh, Saturday Minnesota State mm -hmm. game. Uh, Hillman mm -hmm. uh, was going around guys mm -hmm. at times. Uh, Alexi got a chance to play, mm -hmm. show that, of course. Our previous uh, guest, uh, Zach Erdahl, yeah. uh, is that a pretty good hallmark of this hockey team? It's its skating ability. I think uh, I think players have to play to their strengths, and the, the three guys you mentioned, it's one of their strengths is speed, and uh, and I think they got to use it to their advantage. And, and like Erd said, he likes to go fast, he likes to push the pace a little bit, he likes to get that outside speed going, and he's very effective at it. So, I think again, we're just kind of figuring out our team a little bit. Guys are playing in different roles, and. And some guys, maybe that's not one of their strengths is speed, you know, so they have to use other aspects of their game. But the guys that definitely have it, um, it's effective to use out there. I think that's a big time way offense is created in today's game is that is that speed. So uh, we got a couple of guys that can scoot and uh, when they're using it, uh, it's, it's to our advantage as a team as well. Looking at this Western Michigan team, really tall, uh, big guys, what can we expect to see in terms of matching up with that. Again, it's very similar to, to what we saw with uh, UMass and, mm -hmm. and Augustana and that sort of thing. Yeah, they're a big, heavy team that, that, that plays hard. They go north in a hurry. They um, they have some predictability to their game that uh, that they do. So you got to know what to expect. And so you got to make sure without giving too much of the game plan away, you got to you got to know what you're willing to give up and where maybe you have to be a little bit more patient at certain things. and. And then know how, as Ernst said, to, to counter punch that as well too when you're playing an aggressive team that likes to go north in a hurry. So those are some things we're focusing on this week to, to give ourselves the best chance at success here. And and you got to make sure that you know the players know the plan. And and as we're learning in five one goal games, details matter and every play matters. And uh, um, you have to have that mindset going into the weekend. Thanks, coach. Okay, awesome. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thanks, Good coach. Luck. Thank you. Thanks, Gabe. Thank you. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys this weekend. All right. Yep. Take care. Thank you. Take a lot of time.